The PDRA continues to get races in, and they got this latest one in at Virginia Motorsports Park. It's the summer shootout right here on Monday Morning Racer, brought to you by strutmasters.com. Eliminations of Pro Nitrous, Pro Boost, and Extreme Pro Stock next. here at the PDRA Summer Shootout Virginia Motorsports Park cut up with Randy Melissa guys PDR PDRA drag racing tell me about it we out here at Virginia Motorsports Back Park enjoying ourselves we came when it was raining getting rain and we're enjoying ourselves and just 
I mean, and it's a show out there. It's a show out here. We enjoying ourselves. Yeah, Loving the it. Girl who loves drag racing. Loving it. And everybody who listens, Monday morning racer. Monday morning racer. Monday morning racer. Watch it because that's what it is. <laughs>
Chevrolet. We have caught up with the man that uh, last time out won in Pro Boost, number two qualifier here at the Midsummer Shootout, and low ET round one. Talk to me about it, man. Uh, I had a single, uh, Jamie Chapel broke, but couldn't make the call, so we said, well, let's go for it and see if we can run it close to what we ran last night, our best qualifying pass, and it, it took it, and I felt like we could have took some more. We had a, we've had a piston hurt, and uh, we're changing it now, but uh, we feel like we got a good car. Y'all definitely got a good car. You think you're going to get another 660 man right here at Virginia Motorsports Park? I sure hope so. I got Tommy D.A. for the next round. He ran a 70 also, you know, so, I mean, it's going to be a tough run. Definitely going to be a tough run, but I know this Galat Motorsports team is up for the challenge. Folks, Kevin Rivenbart. Thank you. Folks, on to Extreme Pro Stock. Monday morning racer here in the pits caught up with Johnny Placino. Johnny, man, Hot Rod is running fast and hard. Picked up the number one qualifier here at the summer shootout. Talk to me about that blast. Yeah, we made two really good runs. That would have been good enough for number one. Uh, two 409s came out in Q1. Uh, that was probably the most impressive one in the heat. 409 with an eight. Uh, later on in Q3, we went 409.5. So we have a lot of confidence in the Strutmasters.com Ford Mustang right now. Uh, it's gonna try and keep the ball rolling, keep the momentum going. and. One round at a time. Yeah, man, so one round at a time. You got past round one very easily. You just let the clutch out and roll down the drag strip. But that was a strategic burnout, at least. Talk to me about scuffing tires and changing them out. Yeah, so we got a brand new set of tires here. 
Uh, we have we're, right now, as you see, we're putting on a uh, another set, old reliables. I like to call them right now. They got uh, about almost 30 runs on them, so uh, we can only get a couple more runs out of these Hoosiers. We're gonna have to go to these at some point. So when we have the opportunity to go out there and we don't have to put a lap down, uh, might as well get these scuffed up, nice and round, and ready for when we are gonna have to use them. Johnny, look very briefly. I know we're at a PDRA event, but how cool was it to win at Indy in NHRA? Mountain Motor Pro Mod. It was great, man. I, I love winning anywhere, no matter where it is. Uh, if we're competing, I want to win. I'm just a competitor at heart. So, uh, but yeah, it's great winning here. It's great winning over there. Going quarter miles is always a little bit of a blast. 220, uh, three miles an hour. We went over there. 620s. These things are a, little, a lot of fun to drive. So, um, competition is is what we're out here for. Uh, we're here to win, and uh, we were glad to hold the trophy at the end of the day. Holding the trophy at the end of the day in PDRA, in NHRA, Mountain Motor, Extreme Pro Stock. That's Johnny Placino, folks. On to second round of Pro Nitrous.
folks, look, I hope you enjoyed that pro boost action we caught up with. Uh, well, who was at least the points leader? We'll see how things shake out at the end of the day. John, what happened, man? Do y'all know yet? Well, we had a starter issue. We, we've had a couple of starter issues this weekend and uh, changed it, just put a new starter on and we started in the pit, fired right up, get up there and we finally broke the starter drive. So nothing, nothing you do. To, uh, just, just works out as mechanical. So sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. You know, we, uh, we've been really fortunate. The guys do a really good job at making sure everything is ready when we go to the track. But that's just one of those deals. They had done everything right, and it just misfortune it on uh, on our part this time. These things are mechanical. Mechanical grim, glim, gremlins will jump up and bite every now and then. But overall, your Galat Motorsports team has been performing well. So sure, y'all be back at the next event and performing high once again and going rounds we, we do uh jason he's we were looking at the points there and right now we're a couple of rounds ahead but jason's still marching on so i need my teammate to give me a hand and uh, take him out this next round and that that, that, that has helped me hold him back to where we can get back and uh maybe maybe keep our our lead uh but this race if he wins it you know it could it could change you know but that keeps it interesting for fans and and everything when things are always changing Definitely keeps things interesting for fans and media types when things oh, are yeah. changing. John, look, thank you for your time. John Strickland here on the Monday Morning Racer yeah. camera, hoping he leads the points at the end of this event.
going to march this ball around. Hit the point of the Hero Soap Company is a veteran-owned establishment that produces all-natural essential oils-infused soap that is sold with a portion of the proceeds supporting other veteran groups. Hero Soap Company. Heroes supporting heroes. Be a hero yourself and buy a bar and let freedom clean. Monday Morning Racer, we're here with the winner of Pro Nitrous at the s summer shootout here at Virginia Motorsports Park, Tommy Franklin. Well, man, you're going to come on my show more often. I think that might have done something for you. It might have been you. some uh, luck there, man. There ain't no doubt. Uh, thanks for having me on, you know, up here Thursday. We were uh, we started off working on this thing, but I got one heck of a crew, man. So to come out here and turn this thing around. And uh, last time, you know, last PDA race, we got our teeth kicked in first round. So we were coming for redemption. And uh, that's three of four. We're happy as can be, man. We got a great car, Pat Musi power. It's good stuff, so. Definitely. Y'all came back out, number one qualifier. You get the win here. Not to mention, you answered the call with a 366 when Halsey also ran one earlier there in the semifinals. So, man, 
awesome weekend for the Tommy Franklin Motorsports Group. It is, man. What else can you get? It's short of a record, but we didn't have the air for that. But we're going to hang on to that one. I, hey, man, that's one great team over there, Halsey. There's a bunch of them out here, you know, to, for us to get through Jay. Rob Honeycutt's been awesome out here. We had to run him and, uh, you know, to run uh, run Halsey in the final. They're a great team, but he sh showed us he had that 66 in there, so we dialed her up. We were holding that one in our back pocket, and uh, we dialed it up and got it out here, and that, that's what it's about. Well, folks, we now know what people can run, and the rest of the year looks good and tight. Tommy Franklin, winner here at the Summer Shootout. Awesome. Thank you, Strutmasters. Monday morning racer caught up with the winner in Pro Boost here at the summer shootout of PDDR, PDRA. Kurt Stedding, right? Yes, sir. Stedding, got it right. I'm doing good out here tonight. Man, look, debut a brand new car. You win at the Northeast Outlaw Pro Mod Association. You win here at PDRA. It's got to feel pretty good. It does feel really good. So, man, look, talk to me about the combination and why the brand new car? I was a bit partial to the Corvette. Well, the Corvette's been a great car, but uh, when we got together with Todd last year, we ordered a new car, and Todd put his thoughts in with Bickle in the car, picked it up, and his picked it up two weeks ago, and Todd's crew went to work on it. Todd, Ty, uh, Bradley, and uh, they did a great job. We came out to the Northeast Pro Mod and just kicked ass. You definitely did, and you did it here as well. Performance definitely on the rise. Look. Y'all were doing well before, brand new car, doing even better. Thoughts about running down for a championship this year here in the PDRA? We're, we're a contender right now. I mean, we needed what happened today for the points to, to see what happens in the end. We have two more races. And I, I just got to say, my team, Todd's team mixed with our team, and this is a team effort. I mean, they were all spot on. We did the same thing every time today, and it was just, it was just really smooth. i like to thank my guys. I want to thank my wife, my, my son, all my kids. And uh, like I said, Tataro's crew and YWO and the Thai Drive. I mean, you need some stuff off of them. You should call them. They'll get you. They'll get you set up. Call the Tataro's. P2 the Racing is on the rise, and we got a tight points battle here in Pro Boost in PDRA. Kurt, congratulations. Thanks very much. <laughs> Monday morning race, we're here still in victory lane and caught up with Johnny Placino, the winner of Extreme Pro Stock. And Johnny, how how better, how how much better can this year get? I mean, it's you've won everything except Darlington. You have won on the quarter mile, you've won in the 660, and you've got your number one qualifier now too. I mean, how do you feel about your well your rookie year in Extreme Pro Stock? I don't know. It doesn't get too much better. I guess the only way we could 
make this any better is to uh, wrap up a championship at some point this year and stick it in the three second barrier uh, for my team, for Chip and Strutmasters.com, uh, for NGK Spark Plugs and John Kazi Racing Engines, Ram Clutches, uh, Precision Racing Suspension, everyone who helps us out, who's your tire. Um, everyone is just such a team deal and I say it all the time, but it's so true. Uh, I, I keep telling everybody that uh, what separates us is heart right now and uh, it's, it's be between everyone. It's not just the guys that are working on the car because John and Brud, they bust their butts. Obviously, my dad's put this program together, together and given the opportunity, but uh, it's just so much that goes into this that people don't really realize at home. Um, but it's we have such great people behind yeah. us and with us that we're able to put these on the wall. You're putting plenty of them on the wall, and that's a full-size one, by the way, folks, <laughs> that they're able to get here at the PDRA. <laughs> and, man, look, great goals to get into the three seconds and get a championship, and you all are definitely well on your way. Congratulations, Johnny.